a small screen check. Hmm. Why the hell should I place myself? So I'm not in the way. Maybe here? Okay, let's try. Okay, play your first card. Play your first card on a When it, a card is played, it fills adjacent card. What? It... P oh, no, words, I apparently can't. When a card is played, it will fight adjacent cards. So, is it a 5-7? What is 2? Oh, okay, I guess we're about to find out. Numbers facing each other will determine the fight. The number was higher, so you cap captured enemy card. Okay. Oh, so that card was compared to that number. Okay. Uh, the sword symbol defeats all numbers. I mean, I don't want to play this, but it is a tutorial, I guess. So does this... doesn't trigger that, though. The magic symbol defeats... <coughs> Any rank when attacking, then the medic beats your sword. Okay. But any number beats medic when attacking? Ah, oh, I forgot to la read that, but I guess that's what it said. Uh, your one beats the medic. Now let's take a look at the shield symbol. The shield cannot capture or be captured. Notice how the enemy medic fails to def defeat your shield. Cool. The bow defeats all ranks at range 2 or 3. Capture an enemy from this. What? Oh, it jumps over that one? It does. Okay, okay. Well done. Um. The bow cannot cap sure or defend at range one. Then I beast man, okay, so many things to keep track of, but okay. Uh, capturing two cards with a single move starts a combo. When you land a combo, the capture card also attacks. Play in the open space to take three cards with one combo. What? Oh, so I can't oh that's a seven up there. Let's just do the tutorial. Of course, you can do those cards also attacked. Okay. Why doesn't that continue to capture though? But okay, I guess it doesn't. Um, the enemy bow captures two cards for our left column. Let's set up a large combo capture them. Okay. What would this trigger? This will trigger and get that one. What else would it do? Nothing else? Yeah, it shouldn't do anything else. Oh, let's set up. Okay, never mind. Um, do you really think several moves ahead? Yeah. Let me use a big combo to capture most of the, of the board. The situation looks bad, but you still have a move to make let's take a look at your hero and the power of every hero okay hero can be used once per turn select your sword slash hero okay what is turn all symbols on on the card into swords so if we capture that that and that okay anyway okay which one 
Because then we'll... Well, that will not capture that, but that will capture that. That will capture that. That will capture that one. So you will have these left, I assume, right? Oh, yeah, okay, my, okay, my bad, that one. These two, okay? Well, that's not fair. Okay, so if we take this one... That's this plan. Uh, let's see. We take that one, we take that one, we take that one. That one... I don't know who wins here, though. I don't remember what the shield was. Now this will it take over that one and that one. I don't know... Oh yeah, it probably can't attack that square. Even. This one takes that... Takes that... Takes that... So basically... The majority, of course. Wow. Um, give the highest and lowest number on... Uh, let's just play the default here, I guess. Let's play the campaign. Loading. Okay, let's move to the bottom right now. Um, okay. So we have fights. We have treasures, merchants, probably that one is, what is the cogwheel? That's just option. That's a weird place to have an option though, usually in the corner. Potion, forge, forge sounds interesting. There's no forges here, okay. Can I see? I cannot, okay. So either way, two fights. Actually, we can go one, two, three, four, four fights if we want to. Let's try that. Depends on what the rewards after a fight. Or and how terrible we are at the game. Also, that's another option. Okay, what is this? Wall obstacle, okay. Um And I don't know what is good to save the best card for last. Do you give him corners, or do you not give him corners? Man, um... Just start with a weak one? We could do that, but it doesn't feel worth it. Oh, uh, mm. Says, well, I guess we can do this one. Wait, does it have amount of uses? Uh, 
And what happens if uh, seven faces against a seven? Yes, nothing happens at the seven versus seven. Oh my turn. Okay, so what? Okay, I have actually I haven't looked at what he has. He's strong on his left side, mostly on these cards at least. One on the right though. Um, damn. We should probably save this one for here. Um. So if we do this... He's gonna have the last move though. But he has no high numbers on the right side, okay, okay. So if we just place the bear here? Should be, what is these potions though? Give the lowest number. What it was defined as lowest, though? Both. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, bad play. <sighs> Spell it out. From Shadows of <coughs> Over Rock. Uh, Mer Merok appears chanting a spell. Shift the wind to an aggressive nature. You can grab the beast by its curled tail inside it or risk the consequence of its magic. Listen to the spell. Discount bow upgrades. Wait, did we just get into a shop, or what happened? The creature became a shop. Ha okay. What are these? Potion shop. Is this permanent upgrade to my units? Uh, Dragon drop potions. Corner shop on the slot. You can replace potions by dragging them onto existing potions in the drawer. Uh, click on potions selected. Click on current potion. Okay, they are temporarily solutions. Okay. I'm not a fan of temporary solutions, honestly. I want permanently changes. So I'll probably dodge this shop. What is this? Supplies. Cannot unlock these. <laughs> yeah, this is close. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, let's just, just toss out a weak one and start. Random location. So, is he strong or something specific? Left and right seems to be his thing with these two exceptions. Man, um... Here, man. Okay. 
I want to. Can I use my worst units in the beginning? Also, the it's like sword, shield. All this information should not be here, unless the specific card has that any of these abilities. In my opinion, uh, this is too much. Otherwise, save that. Save that. I guess this is actually the worst. But we have to do that. Okay. I mean, at the moment, I feel like I will want to save the rest. I mean, I have three uses left. I might as well use them, right? Um, not sure what's going to do, but might be good for defense or something. I don't know. I haven't checked actually what he's having. So he's strong on the left side, so... I can only use one of these? Okay. No, I don't want potions. Oh, okay. Um, so these are permanent upgrades, okay. So we get a range upward and plus two on the right side. Mm. Should we do it on this one? Or we can take it on one of these units. So that would be having that this would be perfect for the bottom left corner because it has a archer left and up, potentially. Could be bad. I can try it. Let's do more fights. Wait, what? I have to check something on the map. Okay. Um. Wait, does this? Oh, wait. XP. So they potentially level up. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so we want to set up for this one. So you don't want to have any enemy units close to do that. Of course you have to take that corner. I like that corner. That's my corner. Okay. We're not strung downwards, only this one. I feel like using this early is not worth it. 
We could give it plus four to this, for example, or maybe actually even this. Or this, nah. Let's give it to this. Okay, if we get the bow now, we will only capture these two, which is not good. We want to capture this first. The problem if we capture this, then he's gonna play something there. Well, um, hmm. I mean, do we just do it anyway? Or he could place here, I don't think so now, he didn't. Okay, not good, not good at all. This is horrible. This guy is smarter, man. He's playing the, the sides. I don't like that. I'm trying to get him to play here. Okay, so we played this one. Let me play it here, I assume. Actually, so I even look at his card. He's both... Man, he's strong in all directions. Down, left, and right. Not up, but we... Up. Well, that's if we place here, but... Yeah, might be placed here actually. And we don't use this one. Um Or we just place I mean we can just strengthen the bear. Then we can place it anywhere he can't capture it basically. Maybe I should have thought about that while is that? So if we capture the bear there, then he places seven there, capture that one. That is not good. So we want to place here, I guess. Okay. Um, plus... Is both strong left and right? Wait, who wins here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He gets on one, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> we fucked up here, man. Oh, it even says the number here. Hmm. No, well, that would be why? What? It will be a seven bit tie. Or draw. So this fades fades out. This is super cool. But why are these not faded out? I cannot go backwards, can I? No? These should also be faded out. It's one of the first games, uh, like Slade Spire Maps, Spire Maps, ever seen, where they fade out the squares you can never get to. And I have asked for this feature in so many Slade Spire, Spire inspired maps. None have implemented it. I don't understand why. 
such a si simple good good feature. Man. Okay. I feel like the first draw card is like It's like you just place one randomly or what? If we do a bear down here, get that one, we get that one, we get that one, we get that one. That one gets... So do we get all of them? I don't think this one triggers the attack, though. We can try it, I guess. Yeah, that was the one that we, oh, we didn't get. That's right. Okay. He's strong up and right. So we want to play stuff for the furthest left, I assume. So like this will be a solid one. Yeah. Guess we do this, right? Why didn't we get any reward for that? Fight the weird. All the other fights we've done is like, oh, here's something happens after the fight. This one we got a draw, which I couldn't understand. We didn't get a reward for. This one though, we didn't get anything. Size and achievement. Um, okay. Not a fan of the potions, so they screw them. Ooh, okay. Now we're starting having uh, special abilities. I, I still haven't figured out where the where it's good to place the first card. Um, I mean, if we place here, we have a five to five to our left. Well, if we place there, he's gonna place there and capture it. Mm. That wouldn't work either. Um, I haven't any good, not any good answers actually. Should we just go for this one instead? Then? Do we have any? Nope. What is the downside of this? 
Then we capture it from here. And we cannot... I don't like this. the lightning upwards also or magic um should we give this one plus four no that wouldn't work this one i mean have to do it on Oh, that one actually works too. Okay. I mean, I can take, but is it worth it? Yeah, sure. He's strong on right. Well, not strong. He's got one strong card on left. Um, if we give him... It's only this place we can play, basically. Do we want to save the bow for here? He's strong on the left. But if we just do this, I guess. He won't capture anything, basically. Wait, what? Level up? Knockback. Push the defending card back after attacking. This value can never change. Oh, so the left value knocks back. And the up value can never go above or below 7, okay. Flame sheet. Capture the attacker after successful block. That could be very good. So I like the middle one so far. Uh, always defend shield. What is defend shield? Always defeat shield. Okay, now let's go with this one. I feel like this has potential. And he's gonna place his card up here. If I place it, he's gonna place this here. If we place our card back here. He's also gonna. So, whatever we do, we're gonna 
capture this and he's gonna capture it back basically. Um So this is the best one, then we get that one at least. And his capture will don't do anything. Okay. Free card. Okay. Um choose one. I wonder which one of I mean oh it has archers on both sides. bow. I'm not archer. Oh okay. Do I replace a card or what? Okay, so I have to replace it, okay? Check. Mm. Okay, we can get a a bow on the right. So this one has XP, I'm guessing. It is because I have this unit. So they're both linked anyway, I guess. Something. Troll card. <laughs> Okay. Um uh, is overall strong card. Not as good as the bear though, but still decent. And that one is this one. What is this? Do? Um I think I like this one. Instead of maybe instead of this one. Oh, what do you think here? So one of these three, which so this is total value of six. This has seven. This is seven. So this one is probably the weakest. Okay, what is option? Um Two fights. I don't care about potions, so let's do two fights. So he's got three units with shields, okay. So basically, if I place this here, he cannot capture it in any way. Uh, seems to be the case. Is it worth it, though? I'm not sure. Oh, he had one with seven. Great. Use eyes, maybe, next time? Okay, so we have to use an archer, basically, to get that back one. No, we don't have... We have that archer, though. Okay. I mean, anything can almost beat this one. From the right angles, that is. I mean, sure, I captured that, but this has zero, so it easily gets captures back. I guess we could do that. Maybe capture something on here. Actually, yeah, capture these two and I get that one for free. Uh, so anything with low numbers? Um, I might save the bear too long, man. Um. 
So I have to basically use this or something up here. Or we can use this one as an option. We can't use this one. We cannot use this one, so it's only these two. This one could potentially be used down here. This potentially could be used everywhere. I think we use this one, actually. Let's just give it plus one. So whatever we place here has to have more than more than zero, basically. So we cannot place that or that there, so we have to place this the one there. Okay. Mm, I'm not sure about that one, but I'm fine. Fine. AI, what the hell did you plan? So he's gonna place. If we just place something with strong value to the right, <laughs> nothing. Okay, let's just. Uh... Ralf. Aldurson, the brave fool. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, he's got shield units. Okay. Let's not try and make the same mistake as we did last time. If we place a troll down here, he cannot capture the troll, right? Uh, these two numbers I have to check for. So if we capture the troll down here, we have the corner secured. Is it worth it though? That's the question. So the first one is the most annoying man. No, if we place here, it's going to capture anything there. Here, man, take it. Oh. Okay. So we can't place anything here, that's pointless. This is here. We could do this. Mm. Yeah, and he can't retake it, so okay, fine. He's got a 7 to the left here. Push the defending card back after attacking. I'm kind of curious what happens if we do that. Oh, we'll push to the left. Never mind. Um, I guess we can place it something there. Can, is there an undo button? I was like, oh, I'm gonna place it here. Now this will do nothing, so we have to place it here now. Wait. <coughs> okay, so actually you don't have to play it though? Okay, okay. Um, so we could just do this for no real benefit. Yeah, 
Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. This one is the biggest issue. If we place here, he placed the frog or whatever that thing over here. Um, so there's you, you there's one unit you don't use. Okay, okay, keep that in mind, I guess. Like this at all? Mm. So if we place here, we should be good, right? Let's go. I like things that has several good sides. This is very stable. Six, five, five. Sure, it's weak downwards, but that's fine. This place in the bottom row, and you. Yeah, I think I like this one the most. Um. I thought I would like the archers, but I feel like the archer is not as good, honestly. Soft and I was like, eh, meh. Can I sell cards? No, I can't. And maybe I'm also a little bit greedy when I go to the shop. Maybe I should be more save money for the good ones. When you turn starts, if you still control the last... Wait. If you still control the last card you played, it attacks. Okay. Um, should we just put a weak unit on the board, I guess? So if you want to take this, we basically have to play something here. has an 8 here, which is... <sighs> we could force the 8 out, I guess. That's a 7 downwards, so he has also okay. We can see if we can force out 8 then, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, at least that is solved now. His worst unit is gone. Now we only have sevens, which is... I mean, it's not weak, but... Is this worth it? Does shield protect from... Can't be captured. So I guess it won't capture from right. Okay. We could. I just feel like I just want to place this here. But it's gonna... Fuck it, let's just see what happens. Oh yeah, for, I forgot about the damn shield. Okay. Hey, Marvin, my man, what's up? Cheers, mate. How you doing, buddy? I didn't see you playing Eternal. What did you play? You did play Eternal, my bad. How was your stream? We're testing out a new game, man. I'm actually liking it a lot more than I thought I would. It looked a bit weird at start, but just, once you get into it, man, it's freak pretty good. I mean, if we take this corner here... I have sevens, though. We could buff it up one on each side. Let's do that. But I mean, it's only one unit. Oh man, okay. Small struggles, man. Small struggles. This one is harder than I thought, man. Holy crap. I'm not going to use this card most... Oh, actually I actually have two... Yeah, I, I need to remove these bow cards, man. They're not great. Not good, man. <laughs> Ugh. I'm kind of curious how the pushback thing works. Okay, it doesn't push back if it can't push back. Okay, check. He's got a 7 on the right. And a 7 downwards. The 7 downwards is only this card. Uh, so he has seven on the right, so we want to control this space, I guess. But he has a shield there. Oh, that's an issue. I guess we could set an archer down here. And the, the wording was, when your turn starts, I guess we have the numbers, doesn't really matter. Can you do both? You can. Wow, okay. Defer, beat, defeat, wow. Defeat the first boss. No, beat the first boss, okay. Use relics to empower your cards, or we can... Uh, blah, blah. 
enemy. Relics trigger automatic whenever the condition is met. Discover new relics by um, just defeating boss. Choose wisely, you can only equip 8 relics each run. Okay, what do we have? When an enemy card is captured and you have the low score, a random enemy card in play gets minus 2 to all numbers. What do they mean when an enemy card is captured and you have the low score? Oh, okay, okay. In the, okay, the total score, basically, okay. Okay, when your card is captured, the attacking card changes a random value into one. Okay, so when he steals my card, I have an easy chance to get it back, basically. Okay. When the enemy combos... And you have no more than 8 in supply, gain 7 supply. What? What is supplies? When you lose a match. Okay, it hasn't happened yet. Okay. So what the hell? I don't know, man. This one, supply, we're going to skip. This one, a um, little bit RNG. Probably in the majority of times it would be a benefit, but could also be sometimes bad. And I don't like when the RNG is bad. Um, I think I go for the bow actually. Okay, what is the plan here? Um, just units. Okay, fine, and chests. Okay. Is there no shop? Also, why does a skull say boss when there actually is no skull symbols? Uh, merchants. It's not. Oh, there was this. This is a forge. So let's go to the forge. We haven't been there. Also, I'm not sure here. So. There's a dotted path here. I mean, according to the dotted path, I could go here, 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 up here, then here. I don't think I can. So it would be nice if these had like arrows in the direction you can walk. Or maybe you can walk both directions, I don't think so, but... Then comes the question is, if you go here, if you get here, can you walk up here? I mean, almost a straight line. So let's walk this path, is the plan. To see if we can go up here. If we can't, we go here, 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 up. So that's towards this guy. Okay. That's the plan. When your turn starts, a random opposing card in play gets minus one. Two numbers. Two numbers, to all numbers, I assume. Upgrade? Bonus? Turn all sheets on card into random numbers. Okay. I mean, is this a permanent upgrade? I don't think so. Do we just take it here to test? out then it gets that could that place for free unless we do this one though does he have an eight upwards he does not have an eight upwards okay that's good does he have any lightning or magic upwards he does not but he has a sword to the left man he has some good cards man holy crap and why is this, is this like premium? Animated? Okay, let's just turn all shields on a card into random numbers. Okay, here you go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Okay. 
That is such an annoying card. Relic. <sighs> um. The strongest number he has to the right is a six. We could toss this down here, though. Do we want that, though? That's such a good card, though. Indecisive me, man. Screw his relic, man. Screw his relic. Um, A bad feeling about this one. Holy crap. <sighs> okay, he has one really good card left, but that's the only thing good thing he has, though. Can, if we can try and flush that one out, though. So we want to flush this one out. So he has a sword on the left side. So we want to play something that has at least five strength on the right. This one, then? And, attack, and then he captures this card. Um, okay, doesn't matter, okay. Jab, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure this is a good idea, idea to do, man. Oh yeah, fucking relic fucked me over. He randomly got... Well, actually, there was only two cards. I guess it was 50-50. Well, this sucks. This sucks big time. That we cannot capture two cards in any way. Oh, yay. This is going to be a draw. <sighs> man, okay, that, that was that was a hard fight, man. I'm not going to buy. I'm just going to save my cash this round. That was a tough fight, man. When your turn starts, all opposing cards get minus one applied to a random number. To ra oh, okay. okay. All opposing cards. Can I get some of these relics?
Wait, what? Give all numbers on card minus three. If I'm gonna subtract nine is it? Can you can you not return minus nine instead? I'm kind of curious to see how it works here. We didn't subtract nine. It added nine. Okay, oh, I'm so confused. So we want this down there, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, problem is it's gonna capture it back with an archer here somewhere. Or an archer there. That's also a possibility. Do we want to take this guy back instead? Actually, this might be better, yeah. Cheating relics, man. Guess that works. Or not. It has a, str a strong values on the right, left side. So whatever we do, you should place something in these three squares. But it has this seven on the right, though. Uh, hmm. So if we place this here, it's going to play the seven. Um, I think that is the best thing, though. Or is it the best thing? This capture that, captures that, capture those. Yeah, okay. Okay. There's no way to capture two things. This is looking horrible. So maybe in the future I should play some random stuff in the middle, or what? I 
is to sacrifice one of these. He's strong to the right and strong to the left. Guess he will buff this guy. Okay, let's thank you. You place the bear here. Then he has to place his unit here. So we're gonna lose the bear to the sword, but we're gonna get this one, this one, this one, this one, uh, this one, this one. Yeah, I think we're okay. Man, I thought I would lose that one. Holy crap, that was a turnaround. Free shield card. Approach the creature. Um, regrets, loss, emptiness. Those feeling reach for you healing lucky into players. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot a horned harmit. Best of fright, you feel a sliver of hope. Did it say hermit? Because that's forged now. So this is good, really good upgrades. So this is what a forge is, okay. Really expensive, but really good upgrades. Thousand minimum, basically, okay. Good to know before we get over here. So this is grayed out. Oh, okay. Steel Cyclone. When your opponent plays a card, but before it attacks, it gets minus two to numbers if they have the high score. So that's basically one. So, so basically all my units have minus two in everything if I'm in the lead. Can I find these, these relics that he is using? No. Okay, let's just sacrifice a square in the middle. Um, wow, what is... He has so many swords. So I can basically place anything here. He has so many swords. I need to get some shields, man.
Um, what does the sword actually do? The sword did. Wait, the sorted rank is 10? Never said that. Oh, it trumps all numbers and ties against itself. So even on defense, I guess it still beats. Th okay. Beats everything besides magic and shield, I guess. Okay. So I was going to put this uh, grizzly bear up here, but this one would capture it. Do we just toss out a random unit? If we take the bow guy down here, we capture that, 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 that. No, not this one, but this one. Or should we save this area? Guess we could do this. Attacker after successful block. Wait, oh, it has a sword? Always defeat shield. Also hit a distant two way. Ooh, this is a wild one, man. Um, all of these are good. Always win upwards. Even if the enemies place a card above it, that's super good. With exceptions, of course. Always defeat shields. Not that often. That uh, that will be in use. Also, it's two distances away. It's like distance one and two. Um. One and two. Let's try. Okay, we got rid of that card. That's good, at least. Trying to figure out actually what yes yeah, gets too too many good cards man. Oh, I was thinking magic. My bad. I fail. See, it's only strong, actually strong downs and upwards. Okay. If we place this one. If he places this one up here...
Man, I want to force out a combo, though. So I want to which which square do I want to capture on this question? If we do this, we capture that. Never mind. I'm, I'm trying to capture my own units. Nice. We screwed either way. So he's going to place this here, basically. So he will capture this one. We, we can get a draw, though, but do we want a draw? Can we guarantee a win is the question. I don't think we can guarantee a win, though. That's the bad part. Six. This goes up to eight. But when he goes... Actually, but does he win then? Man. I mean, if I place here, he gets nothing. Unless this does something. Minus two could be... So I guess we could do this. I thought you can only... Okay, you can only want to build. Okay. So... This... And then we get a draw. If we do this... We capture that. We go up to 8. He goes down to 5. Then he plays up here. He gets 6. He gets 7. Hello, Zin. I have never played it before. I, I, I don't see any other way here, man. Final Fantasy minigame? Oh, I've never played that. Free bow card? Free bow card or discounted bow card? I think you can go for a free one. Wait, what? These are intriguing cards. Golems or plate lizard? Um. I have noticed, I have a tendency to play the bottom squares first, and then play the above ones. Um, and if that's the case, this is probably better. I guess that... Okay, this is better late game, this is better early game. If I maintain that play style. Hmm.
This could also be good, I guess. Um, aggressive, defensive. The golem. I like golems. Let's just take the golem. When your turn starts, all your cards in play get plus one to random number. Great. Great. Choose a card, increase odd numbers by three, decrease even numbers by... Th what? Okay. Increase odd numbers. Do we have any with only odd numbers? This one. But I would just do lose to swords. I just toss out a random unit somewhere in the middle, right? Here, eat the shitty unit. Okay. So you have to basically play something up here, I guess. Capture this. Is it worth it? We could also do this unit, but... Oh, this is going great. This is going so great. What it is to also hit a distance two away. In all directions. Well, let's just do this. Get 20 combos in a run. Got it. Oh, so the smoke thing we dig means they have leveled up, basically. Oh, and there is only levels 1 and level 2, so to speak. Or default level, or not level up. So, so okay. Evolved or not evolved, I guess you should call it. Okay. So. What do we play? Where and why? We want to play an archer down here so we can capture this one, or we will never capture that. Uh, I guess actually, we, is it good to do it now? Shield works against everything, I forgot. Oh, 
Well, that's hard, tough. <sighs> wow, okay. He's strong on the left. He's strong on the left, okay. So we want to play something on these squares, basically. This is strong on the right too, though. So we do want to play this. Um, here. Is this a good thing? If we do that, we place here. He randomly plays something here. Then it's 6-6. Six, six. I place down here. He places down here. He wins. Okay, we place here. He plays here. We place here. He plays here, he wins. Okay. So that is not a play. We plays here. He plays here and takes that. If we place here... Wait, wait. If we go back, it's because it has shield upwards. If we place here, what does he do then? We don't gain anything from this. Or where does he place the question? Okay, we place it down there. Let's just imagine here. Then he plays something here, captures this. Um, so then the binary numbers will be two in his favor. That wouldn't work either. Well, I, don't th I think I'm screwed, but I'm going to try anyway. So we have to place here, basically. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it looks like we screwed I, the way. Yeah, I don't see any good way. Oh, actually, it's two distance away. Crap. Well... This would capture this one, this one, and this one? And also, when you hold mouse over, it should display what's gonna happen, basically. It's not gonna capture this one, though, but it should hit this, this, this. This will capture not that one, correct? This one will capture that one, huh? This one will... Captured that one. So we should actually win her. Why did it not capture that one? So it got blocked by the mountain?
Okay. I need to read that thing again. Okay. Uh, train with a bow. Okay. Oh, I thought also hit at distances two away. I thought it was in all directions, but now it's only upwards. Okay, okay. We learn from mistakes. Okay. Plus seven up. Whoa, no. I just want to get shields, man. Can we get some shields? No, because we're training with a bow, so we don't get shields. Makes sense. Makes sense. I wonder if I should get this bow to the right. Or this, even. What happens with negative values? Because then it would be 14 up, bow to the right, one downwards, shit to the left, but that's fine. Is there anything that potentially is better? What is this then? Down, up, right. So that's total of 10 plus a bow. Minus 8. I don't think that matters. And this is cheaper even. So if we do this... Um, the negative value never happens. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, this was a rel. Give me a good one now. Here, power card gets used. But here, power gets used. Okay. Uh, Tard card gets plus into all numbers. Okay, that's well, fairly okay. When a hero power gets used, the target card gets minus one applied to a random number. No. Why would you want... <laughs> oh, that's a weird one. When enemy attacks and your score is 6 or higher, the attacking card gets minus 2 total numbers. <sighs> oh, and my... So let's go with this one, Mercenary Claw, I think. Um, these were just temporary buffs. I don't care about temporary. What's this dice? Okay. So we know what this is now. The question is, do we want it? We can go up here and see how much cash we have when we get there, I guess. When your turn starts, a random card in the potion deck is minus one to all numbers. All numbers? Oof. Um. Okay. I think the enemy relics are so damn good compared to mines, man. Sunni, oh, I can't beat that. Um, 
Unless we use a bow, but that's... Yeah, I feel like a waste on a bow, though. Could do this. Is it worth it? I was just gonna say wall. How does that work, man? Okay. We got how many plays? Three, three plays left. Three plays left. Um, and he's got an archer. The archer one's going to be the most annoying one. Hmm. <sighs> We can only capture one. This is never going to get used, so let's might as well use that one. Plus two. Two plays left. Um, high strong, super strong up. He's got bow to the left and right. But okay, up is the. Oh, he's got an eight down here also. Crap. There's no way to capture two cards. If we do this, oh, I should be. Did it not trigger because I drew drew it? To okay, if we play this here, if we play this here, man. I'm trying to figure out what's the best player because. I think it's one of those, like, I don't have a good answer. So, we should not place in the top left corner. Check. But we kind of have to. Awesome. We place here. We capture nothing. And he wins. We place up here. We capture this. It's seven. Seven, six. 
But on him, his turn, he recaptures this card. <sighs> the magic here is gonna just capture whatever place. If the shield will be in downwards, man. Um, and he has an eight downwards, so he. Oh. Well. Great. We lost fifteen supplies. Ouch. Hmm. <coughs> Turn all symbols on the card to shields? Wow, okay. All symbols into shields. Oh, oh, what is the most useless card I have? This one? Okay, all symbols, not all numbers, not all values. Okay, great. Um, shield to right, shield to right. Lovely. Um, yeah, do we just do this? Oh, yeah. Okay, could be good actually. Nothing new, nothing super. He's got. All symbol into medic. Okay, symbols. Okay, now we can resolve. If we place here, he places here. That's not good. If we place here, oh no, no. if we place here, then is that worth it? Now the shield uh, ignores that. Do we just capture this one? It's, we're super weak downwards, but it's fine. Hmm. Okay. We could do this. We capture that one, that one, and that one, I assume. Okay, okay. Oh, he's strong up and down. Down, left, up. He's not strong to the right. That means we should probably place some of these squares. Or whatever square we can place, we place above or below. Um, unless we do this, though. Wait, does magic cap sh Well, 
Okay. The last like two or three turns is the important turns. Okay, if we do this one, we capture that one, we capture that one, we capture that one, we capture that one. Is that good? I think that is good enough. I didn't think the next step I had though. Okay, we cannot capture this one. Sucks. And I might actually lose us the game. Great, I didn't think I had, right? Dope. Yeah. We got screwed by this shield. Um... Yeah. Wait. If we place here, he forced the place here. This phone triggers uh, and is capture attacker of the system block. Uh, depends on what he places there, though. If he places the wolf here, we lose. If he places the dragon here, because he's not smart AI, depends every now. If he places the drag, yeah, the dragon here, then we also then we captured this, but that's not enough. But I still want to find out though if the AI is smart or not. Let's go dragon or, or the pup. He's too smart, okay. Um, I got shards, so there's a meta progression apparently. So game will be easier over time. Maximum supply, that's an option. What is this? Extra potion slots, I don't like potions. Merchant cost, yeah, that's definitely a good long term. Increase starting gold, meh. Ooh, gain more shards, so that's also long term better. Unlocked zero out of 69. 69. Okay. Some unlocks we don't have, a lot of relics. Okay, okay, okay. So, long term, it is either this or. This one is best. This is better in gameplay. This is better long term after. So, oh, you can okay, okay. I thought it was oof. okay. How much do we have left? Two hundred. Does hero cost anything? That do okay. Okay, cool. Um, I guess... And there's Undo Lost and Refound, okay. Heroes. Um, give the highest and lowest number on the card plus three. Give the highest number on the card minus three. Can I do that on the enemy cards? Maybe. I didn't even think about it. Okay. Give the lowest non zero number on the card minus three. Give all numbers on the card minus two. 
Okay, so they're not only buffers, seems to be debuffs on, okay. Um, what else? Curses. That's probably if you beat the game, it gets harder, harder difficulty or something. Are these color sorted? <clears throat> I almost feel like these are like nature animals. At least the starting is nature animals, and it gets a little bit weirder. Page two. Red, purple. Here, it's a lot of greens, a little bit red. Red again, against yellow. Uh, maybe not. Yes, oh, what is this? Okay, anyway. Credits. Everybody has their names. This guy has not his normal name. Mona Dream. And not a capital letter. Everything else is capital letters. Okay. Cool. Let's check it out on Steam, man. You should get the achievements during gameplay, not just afterwards. Okay, the game is 15 euros. 15 dollars, same thing. Positive 88%. Isn't that very positive? Oh, it's only probably too few reviews, only 34. Okay, cool. You definitely should think several steps ahead, though. And I didn't do that too much, to be honest. Could've gone way better. Well, uh, I think that's the end of the stream. It's like getting close to four hours past midnight. So we're going to call it quits. We put on some music and we go find somebody to read. We'll come back streaming tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Have a freaking awesome remaining Friday. Friday. I was thinking Friday and Saturday at the same time. Take care, guys. I fucking love you. Have a good one. See you tomorrow, maybe. Enjoy the music.